What's up, Cancer? How you guys doing? I'm Jonathan. This is Tarotin. Um, if you have Cancer in your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus, this message could resonate. Thank you guys for tuning in. You know, this will be my interpretation of tarot for you guys. Or oh, whatever. Cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Okay, Cancer. Um, I'm seeing here a breakup, maybe. A breakup with someone from your past. It's like you don't even want to think about the past anymore. Many times you caught this person cheating. It's like this person could have been a whore. It's like they, um, <clears throat> this person could have had a lot of fucking choices. Like everybody wanted some of your man or your woman. Or yourself. You could have been the whore, baby. Hmm. Okay. Now this either, either or. Okay, so this could have been a relationship where it was a lot of combat here, like a lot of back and forth, like someone wanted to be alone in this relationship. It's like, um... It's like someone could have been using the other one for money. You know. But see, whoever was getting used, this person put their foot down and started standing for themselves. You know, looked at the relationship like it was just sex. You know, because this person knew their worth. And it's like this person was turning down this love situation with you. It's kind of like you, you you use this person maybe for their money, but it's like you are okay by yourself. It's like, you know, you can do whatever the fuck you want. It's like alone, you know, have the life that you want and, you know, just use this person for their money. You know, it's like you were growing with this person, you know, and you was working on yourself all at the same time. It's like mainly you were more focused on money. It's like this person could overdo it in drugs. They probably do drugs, sit up and drink all night long, then want to work on a relationship. It's like and you weren't in love with this person no way. It's just like you weren't. So lonely, no more like you normally would be. You know, it's like you kind of had options out here. You know, and you was doing you. This person, you know, probably had just got over a tumultuous past. You know, and both of you guys could have went through a fucked up past. It's like, um, but the both of you guys had choices out here. You could be dealing with a, a water sign or a Gemini. Or a Taurus or Aries. Or Sagittarius.
on Aquarius. Mm -hmm. I even got Leo out here, heavy Leo. Okay, um, you could have cut this person out of your life and stopped giving to them. You know, um, you could have, you wanted to be happy, so, you know, you took a leap of faith. You didn't want to fight about this situation, but your luck was bad wherever you went. So it's like you wanted to come back and apologize for being a dick. Um... But the situation hopeless, you know. Um, this could be a fucked up father who don't like do what they need to do in terms of their family or their children. It's like a bad father or something like that. It's like y'all could have a family together, but the situations between, you know, cancer, you and your person could be kind of hopeless in a way. It's kind of like um, you don't really see a future with them. It's like once you, when you look at this person, you be like, uh, oh, hell no. Like, shit, if I got to talk this motherfucking shit, you know, shit, two or three more years, I'd be, I be goddamn. It's like you don't, hell no. It's like you holding shit back from this person, too. You holding yourself back. You holding your heart back. It's like whatever it is that you fucking endured last season. Honey, you ain't trying to go through that shit no more. But for some reason, you feel bound to this person. It's like you want to apologize because you're still holding on to them because you're sad. It's sad that you don't trust them or you can't be trusted. And, you know, um, it's like you want fairness here, you know, but you keep your guard up. It's like you always act like you got something to hide, like you always in fight mode, you know, um... It's like, you know, you've gotten over the heartbreak of that relationship, you know, when you made the choice. It's just like you want to come back, you know. But it's like it was some gossip around this relationship that this person could have been juggling you and someone else or you was juggling them and someone else. It's like you walked away, you know, but all the time you was addicted to this person. It's like, you know, um you was reckless and you wanted a commitment you wanted the commitment to end but hold on you wanted to hold on to the commitment but you didn't it's like you brought it you you put it to rest for a minute it's like because you were stressed out you know this person um your sugar daddy you was kind of falling out of love with that person because that person was being low down you know, but you held on like it was unfinished business because I'm assuming you could have looked up to this person maybe or them you, but it was some, it was a lot of betrayal, a lot of people talking about, you know, this relationship behind you guys' back. So you made a, a you know, it's like you, you did this for your family, mainly. For them to give you some praise or some honors or something like that, you know, probably um, sacrifice this relationship. You withdraw from them. And now it's like this person walking away. You trying to come back. You know, um, this person was your wish come true. And it's like you want to bring them an offer. But this person feel like, you know, they weren't supported. And it's like somebody could have took. It's like somebody could have took the past. It's like it's like you misrepresented this person, you know, and you probably see this person in the 
you know, this person could be popular in a way. And see, that's bothering you because you weren't loyal to this person, maybe. It's like you want to communicate, but you feel so defeated, you know. And it's like you always find distractions. It's like uh, it's like kind of like your mom maybe distract you or some like a big sister or some is like someone probably distracts you from this situation, you know, or, you know, it's like um, you could have moved out from home, you know, um, It's like there is some type of manipulation going on here um, from home. That's why you moved away from home or something like that. Um, it's like you could have got some bad news or something like that. It's like a secret about your mom could have came out and you got you a new place. I don't know. Thank you, Cancer. 